Here is now V number. V number is here. X minus Y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is our equation 1. Now compare. Compare. Comparing. Compare it. Compare it with. Compare it with. Ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. So when we compare, what we get a is equal to in place of a, there is 1, coefficient is 1. In place of b, there is what? Minus 1. And c is equal to here is minus 1. Okay. So now, a square plus b square is equal to root under 1 square plus b means minus 1 square. So this is 1 square is 1 plus minus 1 square is 1. So this is equal to root 2. Okay, this is equal to root 2. Now, now here we can write this equation now here. Here now this is equation is x minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. This equation can be written as what? x minus y is equal to plus 1. Okay, now now divide okay divide both side by okay this is root 2 so when you divide this by root 2 this is can be written as x by root 2 minus y by root 2 is equal to 1 by root 2 and now this equation can be written as x into 1 by root 2 plus y into there is minus so i'll take this minus here minus 1 by root 2 is equal to is equal to here is 1 by root 2 okay now comparing comparing here comparing with x cos alpha plus y is equal to p when we compare okay, this equation here then x x cos alpha there is what 1 by root 2 here is cos alpha is equal to 1 by root 2 and sin alpha here is y y and sin alpha is minus 1 by root 2 and p is equal to here is 1 by root 2 okay so here here cos alpha here cos alpha is positive and sin alpha is negative okay here this much okay so so angle alpha so angle alpha lies in which quadrant see the cast tools see ast cast tools in the cast tools you can see cos is positive here in the fourth quadrant and sin is negative here yes so we have to take in the fourth way okay, alpha lies in fourth quadrant because in fourth quadrant both are positive but here is one is negative in this this second quadrant uh, sin is positive but here is negative in that this tan is uh, both are negative tan is only positive so this is one is positive so this is the fourth quadrant okay? so angle alpha lies in fourth quadrant fourth okay fourth quadrant okay now now we can write this cos alpha is equal to cos alpha is equal to here is 1 by root 2. So this can be written as cos fourth quadrant. So fourth quadrant means what? 300, this is 0, 180, 0, 90, 180, 200, how much? 70 and 360. So 360 minus this is 360 degree minus. And what is this? 1 by root 2 value is 45 degree. So this is 45 degree. So this can be written as cos. 360 minus 45, how much? 300, 
15 degree 315 15 15 so 40 50 60 okay good now sin alpha sin alpha is equal to here is minus 1 by root 2 is equal to this is sine and this is minus okay in which 360 degree minus okay this is 45 degree in the fourth quadrant okay so this can be written again sine 315 degree okay therefore Therefore, our equation is now x x x this is what cos alpha this is cos 30 okay x cos 315 degree plus this y this is sine 315 degree is equal to 1 by 2 okay so E the required equation, okay? you can write here E the required equation in perpendicular form. Now, we have to find okay p so what is p p value perpendicular this is a p 1 by root 2 and alpha value alpha is equal to you can see this is 315 degree okay? both is 315 alpha alpha okay so 315 degree so in the book x cos 315 degree plus y sin 15, 315 degree is equal to 1 by root 2 okay this is correct answer now c number okay